Okay, so we're going to go through a few more examples. When we're looking at this question here, we're not going to do it the way you would have done it in Year 7. We're going to try and be a bit more sophisticated about this because it will enable you to do the harder questions. So when we look at it, we have a right angle here. So we know that's 90 degrees. We know these two angles have to add up to 90 degrees. So we're going to write P plus P equals 90 degrees. And the reason we've used before, complementary adjacent angles. Write the whole thing down. After you've used your reason, because you've explained to them why we added these things together to give you 90, you're then just solving an equation. So P plus P is 2P. So it's 2P equals 90. Get rid of your times 2. You get your P by itself. Come over here and do the opposite operation and divide by 2. Put that in your fraction key on your calculator and your answer is P equals 45 degrees. Okay, the next one. If we have a look, we have an X. We have a 90 degrees with our right angle. We have a 100 degrees. We know that they're all angles around a point or at a point and that all those angles have to add up to 360 degrees. So we're going to write X plus 90 plus 100 has to equal 360. Give your reason, because you've got to tell them why this came about, and the reason is angles at a point add up to 360 degrees. Then you're just solving an equation. So collect your like terms here on the left-hand side, and we've got X plus 190 equals 360. Get rid of the plus 190, move it to the other side at the end of the line, and do the opposite operation, minus 190, and use your calculator to work it out. All right, this next question is a harder one. So some of you might have trouble with this, but we're going to work through it and see how we go. So they've told you that ABC is a straight line, and they've given you a diagram. ABC is a straight line. They've also told you that EB bisects angle DBF. So the word bisects means, bi means two, and sects means to cut. So we're cutting it into two equal parts. So the line EB has to cut the angle into two equal angles. So here's our angle DBF, and our line BE is gonna cut it into two equal bits. So that whole angle, has been split into two equal sections. So I've got two dots there, but we could call them X and X, or any letter if you like. Just make them the same, because those angles are the same. All right, so all of these angles here are on a straight line or a straight angle. So if we add all of these things up, we're going to equal 180 degrees. So we have to explain where the 180 came from. So we're going to write angles on a straight line at up to 180 degrees. Okay, so we're just going to solve this equation now and find out what this x is. So we're going to collect our like terms here and here. Don't forget this is 1x plus 1x. And we have 2x plus 70 equals 180. So we just keep going and solve our equation as we normally do. Get rid of the plus 70. Minus the 70 on the other side. And work that out on your calculator. Then get rid of your times 2. By dividing by 2 on the other side. Put it in your fraction key on your calculator. And you'll get 55 degrees. Now, that's not actually what the question asks for, but it is handy to know what that x is. All right, so the question says, what is the size of angle EBC? Well, E, B, C, E, B, C is all of this. So we have to find all of that. So it's easy now because we're just going to get x plus 30 and work that out. 
x is 55, we just found it, plus the 30, and we've got 85 degrees. So angle, so therefore, angle E, B, C equals 85 degrees. And that's the end of the question. So good luck with your homework. I'm sure that you'll find it a bit of a relief to do something a little bit different to what we've been doing. But as you can see, the equations topic does come in handy here, so it's really important that you understood how to solve the equations so you can do this work. Good luck with your homework.